This is all about storytelling, story writing, and things that you can do in your classrooms. <laughs> Not everything will suit you, but what happens is I want you to think, I could use that. I know how I could use that with my children. A Brahmin, a wise man, walking and reading the scriptures. In India, a Brahmin and a beggar would never be friends, but the two of them were the best of friends and lived long and well. A story from India. Thank you very much. So, I want you to understand that what we are going to do this afternoon is not about me. I just want you to know and have confidence in the fact that I can tell stories. And I'm going to show you things, how you can develop your storytelling. Right. If I was to say to you, how many of you could write and tell a story now. Put your hand up if you think that you could write or tell a story right now. That's one, two, do you know that's more than I get in England, I've got to tell you. <laughs> if I have about 500 people in front of me, usually about three people have put their hands up. Okay, hands down, thank you for that. Nobody ever shows us how to write a story. We say to children, write a story. If you don't feel confident, how can we get the children to be confident about writing or telling a story? And I'm going to show you a lot of different techniques. The thing about a story is, you can read it, but storytelling is different because I don't use a book. And what does that do? It means I can keep looking at you. A book here, the children keep saying, I can't see the book. And you're going like this half of the time, and you're moving it around, but storytelling is about what you keep inside of your head, and this, using your hands. You're keeping people engaged. You are using voices. Storytelling is absolutely fundamental to everything. We all love stories, even if it's telenovelas. But in your class, think about the people you have in your class. You have children who are loud, some children who are very quiet. And the way if you tell a quiet story, that will appeal to the quiet children. It would also make the very strong children want to quieten down. You don't have to be like me, but making up stories is great because it gets rid of this. The fear of the, of the blank page. We had five people who put their hands up out of 30 plus people. So what you want to do is you want to start thinking about how can I improve my confidence, my understanding of a story and how to tell a story. Well, it looks like a very easy phrase, but using your voice is very important. You do it all of the time. It's not what you say, but the way that you say it. Okay, everybody say that after three, one, two, three. It's not what you say, but the way that you say it. And storytelling is all about that. It's not what you say, but the way that you say it. But like this, in turn, we're going to change the way we say each of these words. It's not the way that you say it. I want you to move into twos and look towards each other and I'm going to ask you to think of an object, okay? So if I just demonstrate, could you turn your chairs to face each other? Listen just to you. me. That's it. What I want you to do is, in turn, think of an object. Don't say what it is. Listen to me. When you're describing it, I want you to sit on your hands, okay? So you'll be sitting and you'll take it in turns, like this, and you've got to describe an object. If you were saying, just for instance, say you were saying it was a guitar, you cannot say it is a guitar, okay? You've got to say it is round, it has strings, it can play music, it is made out of wood, but you cannot say what it is, okay? So I would like the first person out of... What I want to do is this, I'm going to ask you a question now, and I, what I'd like you to do is, I, I want you to think about this, why do we tell stories? 
Some, who can give me some answers? Why do we tell stories? Teach a lesson. Teach, sorry? To teach a lesson. To teach a lesson. I, I like that, yes? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I'd like to say... I'd like to say that when I've been teaching teachers, they've always been quiet and put their hands up. But no, every time when I'm working with teachers, why do we tell stories? Teach a lesson, it's going to be this one. It's easier if we do this, like a bit at a time, yes? To believe. Uh, like a belief. Make yeah, belief. yeah. Oh, ma- all right. So, like for make belief, yes? Sorry? Yes, over there? To entertain. To entertain. Do you know, I'm, I'm much. I am so impressed. Usually, I have to write about 20 or 30 things on here before somebody says, entertain and fun. It's, it's adults, we get frightened. If you say to a young child, sing me a song, they'll go, well, last night I walked along the road, I met my friends and I had a sandwich, I met my friends and we went to the park. Say to a teenager, sing me a song, they'll go, like this something happens uh, uh, excuse me unless it's on X Factor and then and then why do we tell traditional stories it's got all of these things the teacher lesson that's what I was referring to when I said teacher lesson teacher lesson yes to teach something like what happens after the moral Yep, yep, all this. I'm just going to put this. Yeah, like a moral. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Yes, good and bad. Yes, any other reasons? Yes? Um, to you, well, for example, to make kids understand in an exciting way how things came to be, even if that's not the. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, say, like, almost like a, an ancient explanation. Right. Well, Native Americans use pipe. That's right, yes, a, a lot of that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you something. What happens in a traditional story? What do we want children to write about? We want them to write about a beginning, a middle, and an end. What do they watch? Friends. They watch all of these different soap operas that never come to a conclusion. They don't. I mean, in Friends, I've got to tell you, uh, Chandler's orange one day, and then he's not. She's pregnant, but the next day she's not. There is no timeline. It starts at the beginning, it goes through the middle, and it comes to an end. Traditional stories have the benefit of being in a linear form. They just go in a straight line. Good guys are good. Bad guys are bad. There is not going to be a second cousin, half removed, that has just been recently written into the script, suddenly turn up and be pregnant. Yes? You know what I mean. Okay. So, let's think of something. I've got to say, you're really on the ball, and I really appreciate this. This is an activity that you can do that makes a story. Let's think of a traditional story that everybody knows. Say something like uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, Goldilocks. Choose one. Cinderella. Cinderella, okay. What you can do as an activity... Yeah, that's fine. I'm so pleased you're here. Uh, As an activity... You would put on the board the letters of the alphabet. Cinderella. And what you she do was is there, this. the stepmother, the ugly sisters, yeah. the pumpkin. Uh, she went to the ball. The prince saw her. He danced with her. Okay, right. So that one, that's the story. A, a letter, a word that begins with the letter A. Argument. I like it. Okay, argument. A letter. A word that begins with the letter B. That's a ball. How did you think of that? Oh, I like it. I love it. Again, are you listening to what's happening here? It's about explanation of the story. There is no writing involved. You're getting the children to think. You're getting the children to channel their ideas. Think about, there might be a child in your class who was frightened of writing. And what are you doing? You're taking away the fear of doing it here, okay? So, why? Uh, what, what could why be, yes? Young. Young, I like it, yeah. Quite often, Z, that's, that's quite a difficult one as well. So, anybody think of a Z? Yes? Zoom. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, that's all bad. Go away at 12 o'clock. Zoom. 12. When you're making up a story, instead of getting them to write it down, you would use something like this, a voice recorder. This takes practice, but I want you to see how I can tell the story of Cinderella just using the words that you've given me. Instead of it being sentences, we have single words. What is a story? It's a series of events that are joined by making sentences. I need you to listen and I'll try. I am only a man, okay? I can't do two things at once. But what I'll try and do is, I'll try and point to the words as I say them in a story. You will get a copy of this as well. In amongst her sisters, there'd been an argument. They all wanted to go to the ball, but Cinderella knew that she would never go in a carriage, not to that place to dance and look elegant. But if it hadn't been for the fairy coming to that place, her fairy godmother, she would have been left inside of the house. But she made She thought at first it was an illusion. She knew that her sisters would be jealous, and the king had a son who was beautiful. She never thought that she could ever be loved by somebody like him, but with the mice as horses, she went into that noisy place. This was an opportunity to find the prince. The queen liked the way that she looked in her fine clothes, but the sisters, the rude sisters, were so rude to her, thinking that she was going to steal the prince from them. Their hearts were twisted. They became even more ugly than they had ever been before. They were vain, they were wicked, but she knew that her invitation had been sealed with a, with a kiss. She was now young, and after all of the time that the prince had seen her with the slippers on his feet, they zoomed away from the carriage at 12 o'clock. Yes? Can you see how you could use that? I would not say do that in one go. Just write the first five or six letters of the alphabet and talk about the story. Who can think of some words that start with those letters? Fundamental to the way that we speak English, about thinking, about the initial sounds. Do you think that that's something that you could perhaps try? Yes. Or, or with, with the older children? Certainly. I do this with all ages, right from pre-kinder up to uh, sort of like 18, 19 year olds in England.